this piece right here has a flat edge. This piece has a milled edge or whatever you want to call it, rough edge, milled edge. I don't have a planer or a joiner, I mean. So we run it through, I run it through here on the flat edge and I can get what a joiner does out of this. Smooth, flat edge to join these boards together. And to prove it, level. So this is what we've been working on. This is a kitchen island going inside of a log cabin home. And we're using naughty alder on it. And right now I'm trimming out the sides to give it some depth, put some trim on it. And what this kitchen island is gonna have is it's gonna have well. um, we're waiting. Drawer on the bottom, in the center, a drawer on the top, in the center, and then we're gonna have a drawer, a long drawer right here, and then we're gonna have two double doors, and that's gonna be that way on both sides. And the reason I didn't post the beginning of this project is we we're, uh, it took some time to figure out what we were gonna do and update. Uh, on this it, it just kept changing so we just decided I just decided to just start now with the updates on it um, and we're also in the middle of building all of our bee traps again this at that time of year again so this is what we have going on and I will keep the updates rolling and I will post a final product at the end of the video what we decided to do on the sides is to do 13 16 on the side panels and for the bottom these were ripped down and milled down into I believe 5 8 inch pieces for the bottom but then we decided to uh, frame it and do this paneling to give it more of a rustic cabin feel. We installed these drawers. They're a five inch deep drawer with a birch Luan. I believe it was birch. That's um, what the paneling said anyway. Uh, it come from Home Depot. The rest of this wood came from the wood yard here locally in Concord, Georgia. Um, go check them out. They're a great place. They've got all kinds of exotic wood, four quarter, six quarter, eight quarter wood. Uh, but anyway, these drawers were a little tricky to do, uh, but we made it happen as you can see. And we have the soft close uh, drawers on here. Slowly finishing up. This is what we got left from the doors. All these are hand made out of naughty alder. All these are panels put together to make the doors. And we got two of them put together right here. They're gonna go in here like this with some nice, of course we'll have to probably trim these down a little bit. go on the other side yeah. yep that's the other one so those go just like that in there we'll make sure we give them a good nice little gap like the like these drawers do and these are all soft clothes and we got some little blemishes and stuff that we put some wood filler on to 
Just finishing those up. And these are some deep drawers that are in the center. And then we're working on getting the countertop put on this weekend. Finishing up. Is it easy? No. Do I like it? No, I don't. But do I do it? Yeah, I do. What you'll see here is where I joined 13 sixteenths or four quarter boards together using pocket joinery. I don't have a joiner, but what we did is we just milled it down the best we could and sanded and joined these boards together to make this countertop. It turned out really nice and we went with it and went ahead and installed it and we made it removable so we could get it in the customer's house. As you can see on this video part, we went ahead and got it sanded down, got the golden oak stain on it, and we got the hardware, which is a brush oiled bronze hardware. Turned out really nice to go with this cabinet. The customer did a good job choosing their hardware, and we're going to put the link to that hardware in the description below. If you're enjoying these videos please like and subscribe to our channel we appreciate it and share these if you can thank you